On Jackass Forever on Blu-ray today, Johnny Knoxville and the Jackass gang are back with new friends and celebrity guest stars for the most hilarious, outrageous pranks and dangerous stunts ever. The brand new movie is certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes and critics are calling it the best Jackass yet. Own it now on Blu-ray and get bonus, never before seen stunts, rated R from Paramount Pictures. Running low on energy, long days and even longer nights. Tired of all the other energy drinks and bars promise you a lot and never delivering? Need to make it through work? But want a product that can keep up with your busy lifestyle? Want no longer? Try Chef's Chocolate Salty Balls. The balls that are so smooth and with a load of nutrients and vitamins to really get you up and bouncing off the walls. Made with all natural ingredients and healthy junk to satisfy even the pickiest eater. Chef's Chocolate Salty Balls are sold everywhere where you buy your junk. And now, for those who want that extra kick in the butt, comes Chef's Heavy Duty Chocolate Salty Balls with 120% more caffeine than the leading brand. Disclaimer, this product has not been approved by the FDA or World Health Association. Warning, this product is not intended for consumption by children, elderly people, or women who are pregnant, or may become pregnant. You might even get pregnant. Do you like your pancakes padded? Your biscuits buttered, your cakes fluffy, then you should get Mother Butters. I put that on everything. Pasta, veggies, rice, and everything nice. Mother Butters will get you right. Oh yeah, GMO free, and for those who are vegan, Mother Butters has a non-dairy option. That's right, there's enough Mother Butters for everyone to enjoy. Get Mother Butters from your local grocery store. Hey man! What you doing in my kitchen? Oh uh, in the sky it's a bird, it's a plane. Flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin, activate the name. The 
see with black. In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. Flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin, activate the name, is super black. Uh, imagine that, a future that's super black. Long as your skin brown, your superpowers intact. What would your powers be? Just hope it ain't super whack. Space you know what? That was the wrong intro. I don't really care about that. <laughs> here we go. That's what happens when you multitask. Uh, <laughs> thank you for tuning in to Blurred's Eye View, Fury's Reacts and Reviews. Tonight we have a special guest, Malachi Bailey, author of Her and one of the people behind Wingless Comics. What's going on, Malachi? What's happening? Hey, Chris. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> All right. Malachi's a good friend of the show. Uh, tonight we are spoiling it for you because it's been out long enough. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness. And if you haven't seen it, what the hell are you doing with your life? Uh, <laughs> but we're going to get right into it. <laughs> like, you've, you've been wasting your life away. It's, it's, it's just what it is. But if you're watching this show tonight, or if you're watching this Tuesday night, you can always tune in to us every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. as we discover more blurred news and more news and we we'll bring it to you as only we can as the man on the wall and you can give us love by showing up and uh, subscribing and hit the not notification bell on the youtube channel following us on twitch which is blurred's eye view one uh follow us on the ig channel and all that great stuff and you can hear us now on iheart radio and opulence radio as well thank you to our partners out there but as i said before we're talking about dr strange and mom as it's starting to actually be you know, because it's quite a mouthful <laughs> to, to say the whole title. <laughs> well, but mom is fitting though, so, considering you know that it, it, is you know a mother. Yes, so it came out Mother's Day weekend. Uh, yeah. It was just uh, it was a lot of stuff going on with this. Um, <laughs> we're getting right into this, man. This 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 movie here. This is Sam Raimi at his finest. Marvel just made a horror film flat out. Yeah. And it was they, they gave it to it. Yeah. Yeah. And first, I want to get your initial reactions. What did you think? So, so you know, we're friends on Facebook. So, you know how I've been having <laughs> this complete love affair with this movie going back well, before it was released. You know, I'm, I was always excited about what they were going to do with it. Um, I didn't anticipate Wanda being the villain, even though it makes perfect sense considering how WandaVision ended. And, and if you're familiar with the character in the comic books, Wanda has always teetered on that line between good and evil, going way back mm -hmm. to you know her membership with the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants in X-Men number four, 1960, Four, 63 I want to say yeah 64 yeah somewhere in that in that so, window yes yeah it definitely like you know the the start of um Marvel's uh I guess you could say what silver age or whatever but yeah silver age but it's you know it's it's something that I I enjoyed watching I I'm a Scarlet Witch stand going back to 1996 <laughs> you know so she oh. really can do no wrong even though she has done some Horrible, <laughs> hella wrong. She said, things. "Hella wrong." <laughs> yeah, she's, you know, I, I, I see it, and I know for what it is, but I understand it, and I do like how the multiverse of madness, you know, they took a lot from Avengers Disassembled, because people were saying, "Oh, it's House mm -hmm. of M." It really isn't, because House of M is when Quicksilver it's a totally different beast. Yeah, so you, you can't say that. And I believe even Elizabeth Olsen uh, misquoted it too, saying this House of M. It's not your fire year. But anyway, you know, with Avengers. <laughs> so, but, you know, they, they actually start off the story with, you know, um, Jack of Hearts. You know, he is, um, he yeah. comes back from the dead, right? Wasn't he already dead? Yeah. Yep. He, he, he was he, already dead. He shows up from, he shows up at the Avengers Mansion and, he and it stuns. Yeah. Yep. So so that alone, like 
you know, it, it, it was shocking. Um, and then it was just this, this huge event, you know, in 2004, in yeah. 2004, yeah. Yeah. when um, the Avengers are really just, they're gutted. You know, Vision, Vision you know, he, he is revealed to be a sleeper agent and those Ultron balls come out of his mouth. Then you had the Kree attacking, <laughs> you know, you had Hawkeye being killed. They had a lot on their plate. It in was, that it like was two year span, life. it was a lot. Yeah, <laughs> and, and this is all like all in like one story. Like even with the um, th there was this one cover that that always stood out to me for that from that period, where it shows Captain America and Scarlet Witch embrace and this um this hug and they're kissing, and I'm like, yeah. yeah. Okay. So weird. What that was weird. okay. So it wasn't just me that thought that was weird at yeah. that time. I'm just like, of all the people, Steve. I mean, it, it, it just seems awkward. Seemed so out of place. But yeah. you know that story. You know, I to me, I still think it came out of nowhere, um, and it pretty much undid a lot of what um, Kurt Busiek and is that how, is that how you say his name? Busiek. Busiek. Yeah, Kurt, yeah, Kurt, yeah, Busiek. Yep, Busiek. Busiek. So whatever Kurt and George Perez, you know, put into motion when they were doing Avengers in the late nineties. You know, you, you could tell that they both had this affinity for Wanda and they wanted to mm -hmm. better understand the character. They had her, you know, um, start dressing, you know, um, in a way that was more in tune with her culture, her gypsy roots. It, it's pretty right. much my favorite costume of hers. You know, she had all the jewelry and she was showing some mm -hmm. stomach. She had some thigh yeah. for you as well. The relationship. <laughs> He started doing like the natural look, you know, with the curls. I was like, okay, Wanda, we see you. And yeah. um, then she, you know, she decides to move on from Vision, and now she's dating his brother, Wonder Man. And yeah. with, like people that's listening to the show or watching, oh, yeah. like you just have to go back. You have to read it. It, it sounds you, weird when we're you saying it. <laughs> you have to yeah, read it because you know because they're used to um, the the Vision in the movies. You know, yeah. his, his template was not based off of, you know, um, Simon. You know, what's Simon's last yeah. name? Uh, Simon, what? why was that? It's not Peg. Good Lord. Uh, Simon, <laughs> I got to pull it up. I got to pull it up. But, yeah, anyway, it was... Williams. Is it Williams? Yeah, Williams. It is. It's Simon it's Williams. Williams. Yep. So, you know, so you have to, you have to know about this intricate family, family tree you know, because you know Hank Pym created Ultron. Ultron um, created Vision, but mm -hmm. um, Ultron used Simon Williams, you know, brainwaves to to copy for Vision, and then Vision. Um, and we're not even was, talking Jocasta yet, so we're just yeah, like based off of Janet, you know, Janet. So it's like, yeah, this is all like you know, in these fifty plus year history of the Avengers. So for her dating Simon in late. 1998, early 1999, it made mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Um, and then you know, they had the Ultron and um, Ultron, no, H no, H of Ultron, no, Ultron Unlimited that came out summer of 1999. Yes. So, I mean, they he like Kurt and George, they they built this wonderful story, you know, and she was learning more about the chaos magic. Well, you know, she goes to um, Whisper Hill, that's that's where. Mm -hmm. Has her, um, you know, her. Yeah, I got the um, hardness was that. So, so now we're going back to Avengers number eleven because they they did a Halloween issue. Yeah, because they're doing, a, yeah, they were doing the Halloween and they did like they, they were doing like they like they're doing now all these restarts. So yeah, it was like a restart, yeah, or an issue um, restart. Because yeah, because I know I know it was doing the Heroes Return phase. So we're going. So it's still yeah. late nineties, and yeah. and and I love seeing that. I loved her. You know, being able to, you know, finally understand the magic, and then, like, as soon as Kurt leaves, it's you know, looks like that. That's when you had Brian Michael Bendis. I'm not a fan, to mm -hmm. be honest. I, I just, I'm just yeah. not a fan. <laughs> right. And then he undid all of that. You know, you had Doctor Strange approaching Wanda, saying, "Chaos magic isn't real," and then yeah. it's revealed that her kids, you know, was mind wiped from her. And so Janet let it slip in conversation because she's tipsy. Oh, yeah, your boys. And she's like, what boys? And then you see Wanda. <laughs> Wanda, she approaches Agatha. You don't see Agatha uh, again for the whole story. And then by the end of Avengers Disassembled, they go on um, the Avengers. They they bust down the door. 
and you see Juan, uh, not Juan, you see Agatha sitting there, you know, she, but she's a corpse. You know, she's like, she's been yeah. riding in that seat <laughs> for, for X the amount whole time. of time. The entire time. So, you know, for me, I, I, I was, even now, here we are, what, almost 20 years later, I, I was not a fan of how yeah. he disassembled all of that. But, you know, I guess the silver lining on the shitty cloud would be that they took that, um, the, uh, the, the bones of that story and they used it as a premise for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Mm-hmm. You know, I want my kids. I know they, you know, they existed yeah. to me. They were real to they're, me. They're, they're out there. They're so, out there. She kept saying they're, they're out, out there. there. They're out there. They're her and kids. Even, they're like people. They've inter- Monica created, interacted with these kids. They're, these kids are out she there. She saved their lives. You know, you know, when she when she powered up. So even even when when yeah. WandaVision ended, you know, you had that that cool scene with um, you know, Wanda's having a cup of tea, and meanwhile, her other mm-hmm. self is reading the dark. Her astral like, self. Dark yeah, the astral. Her astral yeah, it's the dark hole. Yeah. yeah. So she's in the dark hold, and then you hear and, she did, and, like, and we didn't see it then. Yeah, and we yeah. didn't see it then, but when you look back and look at it, you be like, oh, she was searching the multiverse then, then. and she then. heard her kids. Yeah. So when you watch when you first watch WandaVision and you see that, you just think, oh, she just heard her kids. Then you watch Multiverse of Madness, and then you go back and watch that scene, mm-hmm. and you're just like, Oh no, she was searching and she finally found them. She found them. It, it wasn't it that she was just messing with the magic, yeah. So no, and and that was Earth um eight three eight I want I want to say eight three eight it was yeah it was eight three eight that the, the her kids were at and it's good to know that the universe that we see that we know is the main universe which is the six one six universe. Don't. So about that, um, <laughs> let's I go. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Um. And you know, Greg. Um. You know, Greg. You know, the creator of is Nana. The wear spider, yeah. you know, he's one of my my dearest friends, and you know, he and I, you know, we have these debates, and he was saying how mm-hmm. he didn't see the big deal about you know um, the MCU um, world being called Earth um, six one six. He said it is what it is, but for me, I'm like no, because I remember when, <laughs> I said I'm not gonna fight you on this. I'm gonna fight you. I, I remember, was it dark Thor Dark World? Was it Thor Dark World? We first actually hear. It, they didn't think, refer uh, to Earth at that. No, it was a Spider-Man movie. I want to say, with Mysterio. Because I, because I okay. know. Uh, okay, was yeah. Okay, Mysterio said it. Mysterio said he was from another Earth. I know Doctor Solovic in Thor: Dark World was mm-hmm. the one that kind of was like, "There's more than one," but he didn't. But you know, he, he was being viewed either, as right? crazy anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I was kind of like he he. He kind of mentioned it, but he but it was never Earth was never named. It it, it didn't have it was a designated six one six. To me, that's um yeah a little confusing considering that no one cared to name you know the um comic book Marvel Universe until Warren Ellis did. I want to say back in 2000. Um he yeah. was writing X-Men at the time. And mm-hmm. X-Men. leather clad yeah. X Men, yep. Yeah, you know, and I mean, even now, like th- those stories, they were so, they were so compelling. And now, and now mm-hmm. that I think about it, I know that it had a huge effect on my writing. Even now, like I love seeing, um, you know, uh, Nate Gray take on this shaman role. Like I'm protecting this reality, you know. And he's wearing I like you know. That. Uh, right, he had on like you know. He yeah, because sure cons- considering the fact that when he was first introduced and he was just a man out of time, like he yeah, had, he was, like, he was a complete man out of time, and mm-hmm. he 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 seeing his other self and people that he thought he knew in his reality here in this reality, and he was just like, I don't have a place here, and I am so confused, yeah, on what I'm supposed to be, you know. And but he found it was, it destiny, was, though. Yeah, he did. He did. It was dope. Um, I, I, it was so me cool. and Brandy, me, me and Candy B have talked about Wanda. So me, just Wanda oh, herself. Neither, every she said, every time she, sh- <laughs> oh god, every time she shows up on screen, I am not gonna lie. She's making leather look good. 
Yeah. Every time she showed, like her look, even at the end of WandaVision, she had a great yeah. look. I agree. Like she, you know, the, um, hair was all wavy and stuff. Yeah, the, um, yeah, the, like distressed, but it was just you know no sleeves and but those gloves up to the elbows and just, I like the look, you know. Even when love, the part yeah. where, uh, yeah, the tr is awesome. Uh, even the part where she walks out of the hex to warn director Haywood and the rest of the people to leave yeah. her alone. She's dragging, she's dragging that. That look is possible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that part, that look alone was probably my favorite look. Because it was just like this leather kind of trench coat. And then when she does the wave, yeah, <laughs> when she walks away, she does the wave. And I'm like, oh, she's been around Monica way too long. <laughs> she she's just badass though. Like I just like, you really know, like I said earlier, she's always been one of my favorite characters. And mm -hmm. I remember when they cast Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda, I was kind of like the the Olsen twins yeah. little sister I'm like yeah. no who who I, who I, amazingly I, yeah. looks better than the sisters <laughs> I mean she they looked like some hard time but yeah they did because you she, look at the, you look at her you're just like and she's the baby sister. sister but yeah she's the babysitting you look amazing and so <laughs> it's that Marvel money <laughs> it's the Marvel money <laughs> the Disney the Miles is just like uh -uh, what we won't be having <laughs> So you're not gonna have you looking crazy on that set carpet. Premiere. Right. Right. So there was so many standout moments in this film. And one of them was the opening scene where you it's the dream sequence, and we get mm -hmm. Defender Strange. Yes. And it's funny because he has the ponytail, and then later on when 616 Strange he's, gets him, he's like, uh. <laughs> like I had a ponytail. <laughs> it was like that is not the look I was looking for. But that alone, and then seeing him do the sacrifice, you're just like, wow, this is not the strange we know. Mm -hmm. To sacrifice this child despite everything else. And I like the analogy of them saying, This is Steven putting the knife down. Like mm -hmm. he always seems to want, he needs to be in control. It was in the first film. He always has to be the smartest man in the room, mm -hmm. it, which well, is why I Tony feel, would like kind of. Not be seen. He wasn't the yeah. smartest man in the room. <laughs> Although he still had the quips, which was funny because he's oh, like he was so <laughs> trifling. Did you guys chart in the sixties? Sixties. Let's jump to that real quick. This was a nice surprise. This was a very nice surprise. Yes. And he looks amazing. It showed he did, and I love the suit. It fantastic. I love what the, it. It just, it just, they nailed it. At which point, and then, and we know this is not the six one six read. We know that mm -hmm. because he also he stated that uh, he has a wife and kids. So I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, him and Susan are married and they have children. So we know he, and then the the time. Uh, uh, slide that he used is very reminiscent, at least to me, of repurposed Doom technology. Mm, so, okay. yes, yeah, so I'm like, ah, oh, he's mastered that. That something Doom used to have for a minute. Or, or going back to what you said about the children, you know, you have Frank Franklin and you have Franklin, um, Valeria. Is it, is it Valeria, like that's such it's, an ugly name, but Val. Yeah, Valeria. Well, you know, she's smarter than her father. So it's possible exactly. that he's using, you know, a device that she created by the time the she was gate. three. Yeah. The, the gate. Probably, you know, the playpen. Yeah. Or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see. It's, it's it's amazing. It. Yeah. So, and, and it's dope because everybody had assumptions about who the Illuminati was, who was on this squad. And we finally, as I think it was, what, two, three days before the movie even dropped, they're like, here's the final trailer. And then they gave you, like, Captain Carter's shield. And you're just like, ah. Oh. That irritated me. Like, yeah, because it was. Trailer. Come on. They were like, "You did you leak that? Why Why are you? Who's leaking all of a sudden? Yeah. Somebody you, who, y'all you're, were normally tight-lipped about this stuff up until, like, two weeks after a film dropped or something. Y'all yeah. were really tight lip. Like, there's somebody you have in your camp that you just like, we need to take this guy out the back. 
<laughs> and, 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 and oh, out, his, out his misery, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, because this is not how we do things around here. But you know, having here we go. So here we have oh, the Illuminati. It is. Uh, so you got Captain Carter, you have Black Bolt, you have Reed Richards, and you have Maria Rambo as uh, Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. Here's the beauty of it. We knew about Captain Marvel because we we kept seeing the uh, the the poster, you know, in the poster there was one of the shards of glass had a reflection of her shield. However, we thought it was going to be the animated version that we were introduced to, mm -hmm. but. The black bolt we got was actually Anson Mount from yeah. the Inhuman series, which now not a fan of the show. No. However, I'm a fan of his and the, and the guy that played his brother. They played their roles. Mm -hmm. Even when even when Anson Mount said I cre almost created a. a using the base of American Sign Language and created another language so I can kind of be Black Bolt without actually using American Sign Language. That's a dope idea. Agreed. And and I want to see more of, of, of Black Bolt, you know, but that scene where Wanda just so just tears their ass apart. They, you know, the Illuminati became Marvel's version, or should I say, the MCU version of the Suicide Squad, because you yes. guys, just, yes, <laughs> you like you guys were warned by the Stephen Strange. You know, she is really out for blood. We, we can handle your little witch. We got her. We got her. And to be fair, to her about credit, you. And I'm like me. Maria, he's like Maria me. still held on. <laughs> Maria was doing her thing better than anybody. Yeah, and. And I love that fight between her and Wanda. It was probably one of the best scenes, like period. And the way that she yeah. kept pushing and Wanda had to resort to trickery, like I'm gonna mess up your your, your mask so you don't have the protection <laughs> from it. Yeah. And you know, she pretty much, just, like, she pretty much the sucked the power from her because somebody else yeah. was like, How did she kill them? Like she sucked the power from her. Like I mean, yeah. you're you're talking about this is what she did with America Chavez. This is what Strange did to America Chavez. Like, so there they were at a point, and mind you, the Wanda that was doing that was pretty much being a puppet. So it wasn't even yeah. Wanda at full level. It was just, I can use this body to do just what I needed to do to get what I need. Mm -hmm. But I can't do it to my full uh, potential. But I can push it to its limit. And we should also um, address the fact that um, people were saying, oh, Wanda... You know, um, she you know she's not that powerful, and you know, and, and, and but she, if you read the comic book, she really is. You know, she, she's actually, a literal. She's a she's chaos magic nexus being. She, I mean, she could do all those things in, in the comics. Sleep. Even even when even with House of House of M, mm -hmm. like she's still Wanda. Like it doesn't matter what reality she's in, mm -hmm. she's still Wanda. That does not change. Ever she, oh, no. you know, it, it it's like she she can't be touched. She, yeah, take her memory away. She's still Wanda. Like, <laughs> like if she gains her memory, she's still Wanda. She just can't use her powers at this point. But we see, and like in know, that version, well, we see in that version. That, no, go ahead, go was, ahead. So, I'm sorry. So keep <laughs> in mind that even with the the Wanda that we've seen in the movies, even with her being the most powerful Avenger on screen. Mm -hmm. That's still a watered down version of the character. Yeah, like, yeah, definitely. Because even I want to say like two years ago, um, when they did the Empire Empire um, um, Summer event, you know. Um, oh yeah, yeah, with uh, Wiccan and Hulkling, <laughs> Hulkling and everything. Yeah. Yes. Um, there, there was a part where Wanda was trying to atone for her sins, like you know, she felt gutted about you know what she did with the mutants back in you know House of M. Mm -hmm. So. She found all these um, mystical relics, you know, and then she said, I, I want to bring back the dead Genosha mutants or 16 million of them. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and she does. Yeah. But they're all zombies. So it's just like a normal <laughs> practitioner of the mystical arts wouldn't have the, um, the strength to do all that. 
yeah, Wanda, she did that by just getting a few um items. Then let me do the spell. I mean, you still fucked it up, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the fact that she has yeah. the, she has the components to do it right is just <laughs> you just you just you know really really mess it up because those dead mutants, those zombies, they were able to use the gates to get to Kokoa. So it's like you know you just want to just stop it, and then you know then last year when they did the um the hell you know the Hellfire Gala. You know, mm-hmm. she uh, killed off. She had this elaborate scheme to get killed off so she can be reborn through the um, the resurrection protocols on Kokoa. Oh, yeah. And it started getting a little trippy and not in a good way. But then yeah. to, to keep the mutants from calling her the pretender, she created a heaven for dead mutants. Like, and now she's called the redeemer. So, like, that's just that's just a portion of what she can do. Like yeah. you, you, you created a waiting room for these souls. So mutants who were destined to be mutants but died for whatever reason, mm-hmm. um, anyone who wasn't backed up with with Xavier's Cerebro, they now had a chance of being in the queue for the five to resurrect. Like she's that powerful. Yeah, she's that is, that is crazy. She's that witch. I mean, <laughs> it's just no. <laughs> she's that witch. There's no other way to put it. You know now. This scene right here kind of got people. That scene when he came out, and here was the beauty of it when he came out into the 90s theme music from the cartoon. And I was just like, I'm out done. I'm done. I'm done. (laughs) I'm like, I'm done. (laughs) Xavier's here. I'm done. (laughs) I'm like, you gave me Reed, then you gave me Xavier. I'm good. I'm (laughs) I'm solid now. Well, and you and you and you know it's from the cartoon because he's wearing the green suit. He's wearing the green suit. He's in the yellow hover chair. The whole and life. you know what I'm thinking. So when they when they release X Men '97 cartoon, are they going to use the premise that he was killed off by Wanda? Because they are working on that too. So, huh? That I said, and they are working on that. They didn't yeah. say they didn't give any details. They just said we got the crew back together and we're working on it. But that. how cool would that be? Like if they use that premise, like okay, things have changed. You know, Xavier, because you know the show ended with him being sent to the Shi'ar so he could mm-hmm. um so he could recover. Yeah. So now that he's back to Earth, like you know, I can see them doing a big reunion, and then he's called away. You know, by um, for that, and it's that. Not, <laughs> Right, and then they find out that he's dead. Like you know, Xavier is dead, and then Scott has to take you know, con- you know, leadership of the X Men. You know, as yes. the head of the X Men. So I mean, I could be wrong. I'm probably not, but I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, but wouldn't that be a a great premise to use? It's, 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 it's a. I think they what they have over there, what they have over that house of mouse, is something amazing. Oh, yeah. They are literally knitting together. And for the people who are hating on, on this new strange film, you don't, don't understand. understand. You don't you don't even understand. You don't know because you didn't heed the words of the chess master, Kevin Feige. You didn't. He told you all you need to be checking out everything we release from this mm-hmm. point on because everything's connected. So when you get in there and you're just like, who is what is uh-uh. He told you it over two years, almost two years ago. He told you you didn't listen. You didn't listen. Like this was, I don't. If you were assuming that Deadpool would show up, if you were assuming that the X Men would show, up, they never said these people were going to show up. <laughs> they never said it. But like all the fact that they 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 showed every cornerstone in the Marvel comics. Excuse me. You had the Fantastic Four represented. You had the Inhumans. The building. You yep, had the, the X Men represented. You had um, Captain Marvel, and which is fan service because they gave us the Black Captain Marvel. Because many people don't realize that the first female Captain Marvel in the comic books was a black woman. Mm-hmm. Thank so they you. They gave us that. Yeah. So I mean, you know, game she, set match. <laughs> yeah. Because it, and and I love the fact that when they showed us Maria as Captain Marvel, she had the natural hair because yeah. you know. No one's doing an afro now, but like Monaco is doing in 1982. But it's like this is the closest we're going to get to Monica 
or her mother, or what really was just her mother, being Captain Marvel. Because I'm pretty certain when we see the Marvels movie come out, she's gonna be Photon, a Pulsar, or whatever oh, yeah. name she's like, on. This, but she it, like shot. I don't know how it, it was. It was I don't know how they thought it was like it's superior Iron Man. I'm like with the with the Afro. They did say that. <laughs> <laughs> they were adding that too. Like, oh, that, that's how they start. It's, it's, you know, it's like so. For those who don't know, this is, this is Lashana Lynch who plays Maria Rambo. And now Captain Marvel. And if for those who don't know who that is, she's the mother of Monica, yeah. played by Tiana Paris, the lovely Tiana Paris, because me and DC Beautiful. are in love with this woman. And I love how she's been wearing her hair in WandaVision. That was just and wearing her uniform. Oh. Variation oh. of her original costume. Yeah, and I'm like, ah, y'all, y'all know what y'all doing over there. Y'all hitting the notes. Thank you very much. <laughs> so it, it, oh my god so what they're doing and i love how they're piecing these they're saying we can use some of this and some of this and not have it too convoluted and people were worried because this is a two hour two hour and six minutes in. yeah two hours and six minutes and they were like that's the shortest film i'm like this is a bridge to phase four mm. you know we're you know we're going to phase. It's, it's like iron man iron man was kind of like the jumping board like yeah. this, we're starting off we're doing these slow introductions, yeah, because there aren't any more event adventures. Let's think about it. Cap's retired, or you know, the world knows him as being dead, but Cap's retired. You know, Tony's gone. Uh, Thor, yeah. he's decided pretty much hang it up. He's he's piling around with the Guardians right now. Can't wait for that one to come out. Cause, yeah, woohoo! Um, <laughs> you know, uh, Hawkman, he's kind of retired he's or uh hawkeye he's kind of retired and with his family you know scarlet scarlet witch is or not scarlet witch. uh black widow's gone you know and they're bringing in they're bringing in her sister so the original team hulk is as we will see soon uh soon see she hulk i cannot freaking wait she hulk i don't care this, this is this is everything we're looking for and while we're talking about it, I really need and some and I I did a post on it too. I need to see a Wong and Ned miniseries right now. Because yeah. <laughs> like because it's, it's obvious that Ned from Spider Man No Way Home, he oh, said Ned. it. He was like, yeah, you know, he, he's like, yeah, where's magic in our family? He opens a portal in No Way Home, and even Stephen mm -hmm. looks at him. He's like, you opened a portal. He was like, yeah. He was like, hmm. Okay. You know. So about that, um, and it took me a minute to get it. So remember there was a scene where Ned goes to Peter and he's like, I'll never become, you know, a supervillain, your arch nemesis or whatever. And I'm like, yeah. Ned, Ned, Ned. I said, I said, I know that name. Ned. Ned yes. He becomes... Um, it's uh, he comes hobgoblin, yeah, yeah, hobgoblin, yeah. and yeah, some so, variation. Yeah, He's so one of the many that? goblins that pop up. Yeah, if I, they do I, that, I, if I, they do I, that, I, goblin. I, you know, mm -hmm. bring in a hobgoblin. But if you're going to give him that mystical element, which they showed in the movie, then make him like a um, demo goblin. Remember him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not because that sounds ridiculous when you say it out loud. Demo goblin. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's between that and uh a Darcy and uh what was his what was his name? The agent Jimmy. in WandaVision. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Woo. Woo. Uh, oh, a Darcy and Woo series, which is a, like a comedic version of X Files. I would love to see that. I would that love fun. to see that. that. So uh but there's another scene, and I didn't grab it, I didn't do a screen grab, but there's a scene where where Wanda has Wong tied up, basically. Mm -hmm. And one of the students that come in that you thought had died, you know, yes. during the incursion on, on, the t on the temple, listen to her again. That's a Wakandan accent, number mm -hmm. one. Two, when he was saying, we, gotta, we have to get that book from her, He's like, cut me loose. And she says, no, it can't be you. Yeah, It has to be me. I'll do it. And she, she destroys the book. But notice when she touches his face, 
it's not it's not a student and teacher thing yeah, it it's something else yeah yeah uh-huh. and it, it was something else and i'm like i want to know what happened well, sure. <laughs> and the fact and i love the fact that they're like hey we're bringing all aspects of people in here because you got to you have the people that's in london you have the people that's in japan and obviously we have some wakandans that's at Comitage, you know, and is being rebuilt. And I'm like, oh, I love what I love this. This is beautiful. Did you also notice something too? Um, and I and I saw it right away. So, first off, to destroy the dark hole shouldn't have been easy for anybody. You can't destroy a book of that powerful. But okay, no. Um, <laughs> but when she, but when she died, as she turned to ash, she saw the tear. Wasn't mm-hmm. that very familiar to you? Agents of Shield. Darwin when he was killed. Yep. Yep. I said, oh. I was, yeah. I, so I got actually I was irritated. Oh. Everybody was, was irritated when Darwin died. Well, I was, I'm, I'm like, how does the, the man about, can, uh, multiverse? You know, I was thinking when she died that way. They could have used that boy who broke away from the shield. He could have killed us, but you could chose a black woman. To die the same way that Darwin did, very in very similar fashion. So I was, yeah. I was irritated, but yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I did say that. I'm like, why did it have to be the sister? Yeah, <laughs> like, like I was like, she was really the only one we seen. I'm like, why did it have to be the sister? <laughs> and you took both you? of them from us in the same family? What? Like, no. no, I don't think so. <laughs> oh man. Um, with this being the Sam Raimi film, and and Sam Raimi is very synonymous with working with Bruce Campbell, who is now the Pizza Papa uh, vendor. Hello. Hello. <laughs> he, but there's a scene where Strange and America are going, no, Strange and Christine are going to uh, this other universe where the incursion has already been going on. Mm-hmm. Pay attention because this is kind of an Easter egg for Sam Raimi fans. Every time Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell do a film together, look for Ash Williams' car. Oh, and it was okay. in that scene. It was it was the, it was floating. It was the yellow car was floating okay. right there. And I'm like, and there it is. And if people don't believe me, go back to the Tobey Maguire films where. Uh, Bruce Campbell was the wrestling announcer. Okay. Sam Raimi was the director. What car was Uncle Ben driving? The okay. same yellow car. It was the same yellow car. So that car is, is, is for those who don't know, Ash Williams is played by Bruce Campbell in the Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness films and the Evil Dead uh, series. Um, mm-hmm. And that's just kind of a synonymous car. It's like the DeLorean with Michael J. Fox or Doc Brown. It, it, like you, you see the DeLorean, you got to look for the other two guys. So it's one of those things. So there was a nice, that was a nice little Easter egg. Um, there were tons of Easter eggs. There were tons of Easter eggs. There were tons of fan service. Um, Cap Captain Britain saying, "I can do this all day." Was like a callback to, to the Steve, and I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> But she's well, such a cool. well liked character. She's such a well liked character. But they're talking about doing. Uh, there's rumblings of a possible doing a live action series or movie. I'm thinking it's probably be a series. It's got to be because look how popular it was for What If. Yeah. And yeah. you know, and had he had he been alive, and it was already on record that Chadwick Boseman loved playing that version of T'Challa. Yeah. And it was talks of them doing, they wanted to do an animated T'Challa and the Ravagers series. Yeah. Imagine what we could have got. The gold we could have gotten from that, Lord. That is still a hard I, series to watch with him in it. <laughs> you know, I was, I was going to my Facebook memories, I want to say maybe two days ago, and I had shared an article about Chadwick about four years ago. And mm. that article, it said that he had signed on for five Marvel movies. I was like, Sucks. What we could have, we what we could have gotten, right? Uh, but there was there was so much in this film that just makes you sit back. You know, I always see 
a lot of movies I see a lot more than once for the simple fact that obviously the first time is the the excitement of everything. The second yeah. time is just kind of like, all right, I've gotten the excitement. Now let's do the breakdown because you might have mm -hmm. forgotten something. You might have overseen something, whatever. And when you see these, like I said, well, like I mentioned with uh, at the end of WandaVision, when we thought she was just searching the dark hole, she was actually searching the multiverse. We didn't realize mm -hmm. that. So I like what they're doing over there with their writing because they have something in line. They line it up. And Feige's actually said before, before Loki, before all of this, they didn't need a whiteboard to keep stuff in line. He says, now that we are doing this interconnectivity and everything, he says, yeah, we need a whiteboard. <laughs> you, you need a whiteboard now. Like everybody needs to be in the room when we talk about, yeah, but I'm working on Spider-Man. doesn't matter if you need to be in this room. <laughs> you need to be in this meeting so everybody's on the same page so nothing overlaps and messes up you know and I love how they're keeping this stuff connected I love how they're keeping a, a, a clean eye and planning stuff because they just came back from a retreat like what a week or two ago mm -hmm. and he when says we have stuff planned for the next yeah, next 10 years next 10 years Warner Brothers what the fuck are y'all doing over there <laughs> When yeah, they plan, the oh my god! <laughs> Me and DC talk about that at great length. Like we don't know what the hell's going on with Warner. Now that's which is why they've cleaned house over there, which is a good thing. We hope. Yeah. But um, the stuff that Marvel and Disney are doing for their live action, for their animated, for their theatrical releases, and the fact that less than a year ago, almost a year ago. We didn't have anything. Yeah. For almost two years. Thanks stuff got pushed it. back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, stuff got pushed back. If if anything, if it if it messed with anything, it shortened WandaVision by one episode because they said originally it was supposed to be 10. It shortened uh uh Falcon and Winter Soldier by one episode, and it shortened what if by one episode. Because that's why we didn't get the Gamora story. Mm. But they said, don't worry, she's gonna be in they're moving it that they're moving that one to season two. It was shot. It was just at that time they couldn't finish it because of I said even know that. Yeah. So they like they because people kept wondering, like, well, where's the Gamora episode? You know, she was mentioned and they were, where's the Gamora? That's why. That's why we didn't get it. They like they had it, but it wasn't completed, you know. So we'll be we'll be getting that really soon actually they said i think that's this year we're getting that uh okay. or it might be next year who knows but uh overall i gave this a solid eight eight and a half maybe a nine probably a nine because i you know people were wondering where well, where's vision i'm like this is not vision story trust not me. about him it's not about him and it was like i hate how they ended her yeah it was like i hate how they ended Wanda's character. I'm like, they didn't end her character. She, like, she signed on for like seven movies or something. Like, like they didn't end her character. She, she it was far from done. You would be like, him you somebody. I have? What you got? Okay. So you know how they introduced Wondagore Mountain, which is huge. You know, for Wanda's. Yes. You know, um, you know her her upbringing and. All that good stuff. So yes, did, did I expect to see Boba the cow? No, um, but <laughs> we did get a cow ish type of person, <laughs> but not that one. one. <laughs> but now I'm thinking, like, considering that she she died or whatever, wouldn't it be cool that when we see Wanda again, like, you know, some some something or someone is um, sifting through the um, rubble, and you see Wanda's red gloved hand, and they and they pluck her out. And the person that's holding her is the high revolutionary. That'd be a cool Ooh, way, we. right? Because there's a there's a because see when that when that mountain crashed, you seen a flash of red light, and I know in a lot of people's minds they you figure that's the power dissipating, and I'm like, or is it? Is she teleporting somewhere? Yeah, you know, it's like she felt like. I couldn't go through with it, or something wouldn't let her go through with it. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it makes you wonder. But we're, but we're not done with Wanda. <laughs> well, don't forget, like, like in the comic book, 
uh, what's his name? Shatan, the um the demon that you know was oh yeah, Shatan, yeah. So mm-hmm. who's to say that we won't see him or it or whatever? Right. You know, because those creatures are kind of an extension of him anyway. Mm-hmm. So I know we're not done with no. I'm, I'm like, look, I'm like, they don't you better not be. I said what <laughs> We've been right, like they're like that would be the worst way to go out. <laughs> the the worst way to end. I'm like, think about how they entered all their character arcs. Mm-hmm. Just let's 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 take a second and take a look at how how Marvel has ended the character arcs of all these major characters. They didn't just wipe them off the board and walk away with them. Mm-hmm. They they it was some kind of form of sacrifice, or they went off and lived off their life. Steve is not being selfish. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> like, he, like, let him have like, this guy, please. He served for seventy years. The man can't have a piece. <laughs> he went after the girl that he couldn't. Have. Was like, yeah, but she they took her from her husband. I'm like, I don't think she only married the other guy out of out of necessity. It was just he was the the rebound guy. <laughs> Steve was never the rebound guy. <laughs> Yeah, like she's still pining for Steve. This man's still gone. He, you've seen it in Endgame. She's still pining for Steve. <laughs> Years later, she's she she still died. pining for this dude. Yeah, because she was. Yeah, she, she, she was on her she, deathbed. She, yeah, she she dies and Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier, that's fine. But now that did it, did it? How much of it actually switched and changed? Now is the question. Since Steve stole, since Steve chose to uh. Go back <laughs> and live out his life. I, I, I ain't mad at Steve. Go ahead, do what you got to do, Steve. I like you. I back you. <laughs> if it's good enough for T'Challa to say, "Hey, he's welcome here anytime," <laughs> like then it's good enough for me. So I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not mad at it. But each one of these characters have had this major arc, and then. And it's always dealt around like their sacrifice of their families or their lives to some degree. So to see somebody like Steve go back, to see Hawkeye like just say, All right, I am done. I, I got a family. <laughs> like I promised my wife, which that's a that's a cool little nod about his wife. I want to sit go. down, you know, just right. To see see Stephen Strange finally relinquish the knife. That's that was cool to be inside the zombie strange, <laughs> master the dark mark, the dark magic, hold off Wanda just long enough just to get in touch with her and says, No, 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 you don't understand. I, I don't want you to die. I'm not taking America's power, I'm not trying to kill you. I'm trusting you. Yeah, I'm trusting the both of them, basically. He trusted America to trust herself. Mm -hmm. And the same with Wanda. He was like, I'm trusting Wanda to trust herself. She's going to do the right thing. I know she can. Mm -hmm. It's just people were trying to make her out so bad. I'm like, do you really blame her, though? (laughs) She lost her family. She lost her brother. She lost her lover. She lost her kids. She lost... She can't have anything. And the fact that in WandaVision, the fact that she was there to take Vision's body and bury him. And he, director Haywood wouldn't even let him have that. Wouldn't let her have that. He was like, oh, no, no. He's a weapon. He's he's a weapon. He needs to be decommissioned. Da, da, da. You wouldn't even give her the satisfaction of burying because She's the she was the, I'm his next of kin. You can't do that. You can't. And y'all expect and y'all expected her to just be okay with it? No, come on, man. <laughs> I'm like, no, yeah, okay, she took over a town. Let's face it, that town didn't look all that great to begin with. So let's <laughs> it was a uh, complete cesspool. <laughs> it was <laughs> like it did not look good to begin with. So she kind of actually helped them out a little she bit. Did. So He's so, yeah, you know, Norm Norm had a job while he was over there sawing the damn brick wall. I don't know what, they, <laughs> <laughs> but I love what they did with Multiverse of Madness. 
Um, I love what Sam Raimi brought to the table of making a, a horror film for Marvel because see now they've shown, at least to me, that they've done the war piece, they've done the tech movie, they've done the heist film, they've done the space opera, they've done the fantasy film, they've done the magic film, they've done the horror film. Yeah. They, pretty they, much they pretty time. much got it locked. They, they pretty much got it locked now. You know, they're showing diversity, you know, by, you know, including more and more people, especially people of color, which is something I love. You know, uh, they're they're including more females. And for the people out there who feel like, oh, it's turning into the MCU. And I'm like, Dude, I saw that earlier today. I'm stop. like, what? Stop. Like, just, <laughs> just stop. <laughs> Like you do know, there's a lot of badass women in the Marvel universe. Just there, just is. And they don't read the comic and it, and They don't read any of the book. Well, no. we don't read the comic. That's your problem. You're speaking on things you don't know anything about. <laughs> so, I like what they're bringing to the table. Um, I wish I could not pronounce that young lady's name for anything oh. that plays America Chavez. That plays America oh. Chavez. I don't know. I'm not. Even, it was Exoto. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it's a something I don't shout, but her but her last name's Gomez, and I know some people had a little. Uh, they were a little upset by how how she actually looks in the comics. You know, I mean, she looks fine. What were they expecting? Yeah, you know they they were saying that it was a, a color diversity thing, and I, 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 oh, I'm God. like, look, She's yeah, <laughs> I like we we can't nitpick every single battle now. Yeah. This. If if they turned around and said, "Okay, we're gonna make Storm white," now hold on, <laughs> I would stab someone in the face forty times. Right? I was like, "Y'all, y'all messed up <laughs> twice already. We're not gonna allow you to keep this up." <laughs> I don't so, stand for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like, and and this time y'all got it back. So if y'all if y'all dare mess up that queen, I swear to God, <laughs> I will come for you and your, and your whole family. I will. <laughs> exactly. So. Uh, before we get out, what do you rate the film? An 11. Let me stop. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give it, considering that I watched the movie five times, mm-hmm. I'm going to give it a nine and a half. And I'm okay. only giving it a nine and a half because it might have, I think we could have um, got into more detail with, with Wendigore Mountain. Um, mm-hmm. I think we could have, you know, gotten a little more light that was shed on that. I would have wanted to see more with the multiverse, you know, maybe a little bit more of an extended fight scene with the Illuminati. But I, I utterly adored it. I believe it is my favorite. Well, I don't believe it. I know it. It is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Because, you know, because my thing is, like, I've always, like I was telling you earlier, Scarlet Witch has been one of my favorite characters since mm-hmm. I was a kid. And then, you know, and I want to say I started liking her during the Onslaught saga. So we're going back to 1996, oh. right? Yes. And then, of yes. course, when I was reading, you know, the Avengers book by Kurt and George, and that was late 97, you know, through the year 2000. I think it was 2000. Yeah, 2003 or four, like, somewhere in the year. Yeah, 1934 was the last issue they did. So I, I, I'm I'm always here to, um, to see this character um, on the screen. You know, Elizabeth Olsen has taken a shine into the character, you know, oh. and they said that she gave very specific notes, you know, to the director for A Multiverse of Madness on how to proceed with the character. So mm-hmm. I'm here for that. And then, of course, you know, you, you got a chance to see um, Reed Richards, which I noticed they didn't call him Dr. Reed Richards, which was interesting. Right. But, yeah. you know, I was glad to see um, him, you know, Black Bolt, you know, Professor Xavier. Like, I screamed in the theater, like, literally. Like it was me and some girl next to me. I was speaking mm-hmm. in multiversal tongues. <laughs> I'm so, sitting. Yeah. I was with my oh, wife. Yeah. I was with my wife, and I'm literally like, yeah. <laughs> "Yes!" <laughs> screaming into your She's like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "Yes, I'm, I'm not okay." okay. That's good. <laughs> I am, but I'm not. I can't. <laughs> I'm crying over here. I can't see this. Thing. Right. Enjoy. You let me have my moment. <laughs> Start stopping really hard. Right. Oh, I got yeah. I I I was in the theater. The two times that, that I did go, 
they applauded every single Only time. Only two times. What are you doing? Well, I went on the weekend. I went because oh. because of my let's see what that changes now because I, I start a new gig on Monday, but okay. uh but the scheduling and everything was just like uh I gotta go. I was trying to go during the week, not gonna happen. But uh I every time we went, uh, you know, there were gasps like oh, no, yeah. it is. you know, and people were screaming like uh, Grown men, grown ass men, like when us. you see this move like this, I'm like it's okay, man. Let it out, let it yeah. out, because <laughs> it was there. Every moment was just, it was part fan service, and it was like you guys are listening. That means you're listening when you, you when you casted John Krasinski as Reed Richards, you were listening because he mm-hmm. had been a fan favorite. Well, before this, well, I can't even say boy before this movie was thought of, but well, years. Part though, because um, yeah. even the artist <clears throat> Russell Waterman, you know, who's known for doing like the Hellfire Gala, like he yeah. was illustrating Reed Richards to look like John back in 2019. So they were it's on weird. this. Yeah, I mean this this is the same with this is the same with Sam Jackson being Nick Fury now. Like this was yeah. something it was like they seen this years ago. They were like, do it. Do it. What's stopping us? Literally, what is stopping us? I just take all my money. Just you know, just take my whole paycheck. Oh, they got my money. When they was <laughs> not when Feige said that, I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna do a direct deposit to y'all from now on, <laughs> and that way I could just walk oh, in the deal. I, <laughs> I don't need this, do this food. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, like we need to put this in the budget, honey. Like we need tickets forever. For this, <laughs> this is gonna well, you, so. do you have the um the AMC um stubs membership? I have uh the C- Cinemark uh movie pass. I have Cinemark okay. movie pass. That so sounds similar. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I get like a free ticket, free ticket every month, and all that other stuff. So I'm like, when does the next one drop? Yeah, July. right on time. <laughs> like right it's on time. July, I think Thor's coming out July eighth. It's right? early July. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's like early July. I think it's like that first week of July. So yeah, yeah, I'm and gonna that. that that I put a picture up with Valkyrie, Jane Foster, and in the lower left, like the lower right hand corner, fast. It has to be. Bast. It's her. It's yeah. her. It's her because they look because the um the actress that plays her, yeah, she is. And I looked up the actress. I'm like, oh, when they, and I remember them announcing her. But mm. I thought it was the voice of Bast. No, she's not here. But then they show her, and I'm like, "That's her in makeup." I'm, Did y'all just put Bast in the movie? How are you, you know, fucking? It's going to um, it's gonna lead into the Black Panther it's movie. Leading, so it's, everything yeah. is connected. Yeah. yeah. So pay attention, people. Everything is connected. Everything. You Even like what if the cartoon? They thought that was a throwaway <laughs> series, but it wasn't though. It was a oh, shadow. No, no. Like, and and here's the th- and and I do I honestly believe they are working on a Young Avengers. Oh, they have to. I mean, we've seen everybody debut already. So like, we, we've gotten everybody except for stature, and she shows up in Ant Man next year. So yeah, we're, we're, now she's a teenager now. Yeah, yeah. So she, so we've gotten we've gotten we've gotten uh uh we've gotten Wicked and Speed. Mm-hmm. We've gotten America Chavez. We've gotten uh a, we've gotten uh um what is his name? Uh Isaiah Bradley. We've got mm-hmm. Isaiah Bradley. Uh we've gotten a new Hawkeye. Mm-hmm. That's five right there. Who's left? Uh Hulkling. And I don't um, think they're gonna hit that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Iron Lad is that one. I I and Iron Lad. So we're getting it in some capacity. Yeah, but I think what is just the way they're going to be introducing them. You're like, like they're there, like, you're like, oh, because I can, I can see Feige now. He's like, if you paid attention, <laughs> we've already introduced them to you. <laughs> I can see him like three I mean, years from now. They've been doing it now. Them to you. Oh, what, the last, at least the last two years, they've been doing it, and it's, it's, it's very subtle. Um, you know, a character that looks familiar, but you're like, no, that couldn't be. No, it is. It's so and so. Yeah, it is. Is everything you're thinking? Is that's there? It's like you're not going <laughs> so, paranoid, like Malika, you know. right? So, where can they find you? Where people can find you at? 
Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys do want to follow me. So I am on Instagram. <laughs> um, so it's Mal the Writer. So it's the underscore between Mal and the and the and the writer. And I am also on Facebook. Um, I have a fan page. So just look up Malachi Bailey. Um, I have Twitter too, but I don't use Twitter like that. I just go I'm on there. For just now me. starting. Yeah, Cat Candy B is just like Chris. You got to use Twitter, and I'm like, okay, fine. And I and I know <laughs> it, it, they're right. You know, it's it's always you know um, popular, but like I I had a Twitter account now for the last seven years, and I just don't use it. Mm-hmm. So Instagram yeah. and Facebook, you know, that's the, you know that's pretty much where you can find me. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, guess where you can find me, people? Damn near everywhere. Uh, if you go to <laughs> if you go to IG, you go to Blurred's Eye View, and you will get the link tree right there at the bottom. Uh, it'll show you how to get to the Facebook page as well, as well as the YouTube page. You can also follow us on or follow me on Chris.Fury1 on the IG. So I'm like I said, I'm all over the place. You can hear us every Monday and Thursday on Opulence Radio Radio. You can catch us on iHeart Radio as well. And before we get out of here, I want to thank Malachi Bailey for coming on with me tonight and talking about the multiverse of madness. Uh, I suggest if you did listen to this show and you hadn't seen the movie yet, I hope we encourage you to go see it now. <laughs> so, right, right now. Go, you got to catch up with everybody. So you got to at least go that weekend and then go that Monday. You know, is <laughs> we got Memorial Day weekend coming up. So go just flood the theater because nothing else out right now except nothing that's it <laughs> so <Enough>, um, <laughs> right so <laughs> until next time when we talk to other blurs and nerds about the topics that only we can remember to educate yourself and others entertain yourself and others and most of all encourage yourself and others i'm chris fury your man on the wall along with our guest tonight malachi bailey and until next time we're out of here